Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it is Pater Review time. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the eBay seller Mountain Rocks. And this is his one pound Whiskey Dicks Premium Pater. Let's weigh this up real quick, make sure it's a pound before we go any further. Feels like a pound. There you go, one pound, 4.1 ounces. It is double bagged, it's got the little coffee sack bag as well as a plastic bag inside, but I don't think those will take away. It'll still be a pound of pay dirt. Now let's read you his description. Whiskey Dick's Premium Pay dirt, Gold Nugget guaranteed in every bag. Malachite, topaz, fluorite, and other rare stones will be found in your pan as well. Every bag has a quarter screen nugget or larger. One pound of panning dirt extracted from our private Colorado claim and packaged for you to pan out. Order now while it's in stock. Now, also, when I received this pater, it had a message in it or a note as well as the invoice. And I will read you that note right now. Thank you for your order. We take pride in providing quality pater from Colorado. In your pan, you will find gold, topaz, pyrite, purple fluorite, small red garnets, garnets, and malachite. Hope I'm probably not pronouncing that stone right, but. Your purchase supports local prospectors and helps keep the American dream alive. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. Now, I did contact this seller, and I'll tell you a couple things about what he replied to me. But first, let me say a couple things. One, is he has since changed his description since I ordered or anyone before me ordered it? And that is now he has added in one in 10 bags as a bonus bag. And I think that has something to do with the fact with my questions to him as well as some recent feedback he's received, as well as a recent review he got on YouTube. Now, in that review, the reviewer recovered one gram of gold out of one of these bags of pater, which gave him right around a 98% ROI. Now, the feedback he's received since that bag has, was reviewed are negative. He's gotten two negative feedbacks where one is a person did not find a nugget and the other person stated they only found 0.1 grams of gold. They did modify that feedback later and say they found more gold, but they don't really tell you what. They told you initially they found 0.1 grams of gold. So I asked him, point blank, what's the average amount of gold someone will find in one of these bags of gold? And this is his reply. And I also asked him if he knew the pater was going to a reviewer. And here is his reply to that question. One can generally pan out 0.4 to 0.5 grams of gold, but one in 10 bags gets double that. So obviously the recent review was a bonus bag. It was not a typical bag of pater. I'm hoping this is a typical bag of pater. And I did ask him if he knew that bag was going to be reviewed. And he said he did not know it was going to be reviewed. It was just random that that person got the bonus bag that was doing the review. I will put a little thing in there though that he didn't have that bonus bag in his descriptions until now, until after that review came out. I also asked him how difficult this bag was to pan out and his reply was, I try and make these bags simple to pan with minimal black dirt, a black sands. I called it black dirt just so they wouldn't know it was me. I ask, pretend like I'm dumb all the time. All right, so let's open this up, classify it down and see what it is. I have little pieces of fur all over my table now. So there you go, little plastic bag. I do like these bags better. It's a little thin, maybe a better bag, but it's about the same as a Ziploc bag. It's a very fine material. Now, one more thing before I classify this down, I have to say something that I found really curious. What he says in there is one sentence is, every bag has a quarter screen nugget or larger. And that to me just can't seem right. I'll show you right here. This is a quarter screen classifier. This is one of the ones I use when I do big rocks and it's really big. I'll show you, I mean, this is it compared to one of my gold plated dimes. And that's a big screen. I mean, that is a really big hole. I just, I'm not understanding if I'm supposed to find a nugget that won't fit through this. I will find a gram every time. I mean, that's a really big nugget. I mean, maybe not a gram, but that's a really big nugget. So, and then, so I don't know if I'm reading that it's got as a quarter screen nugget, which means a nugget that fell through a quarter screen, because then anything flower gold will fall through this. So I'm not sure I really understand the quarter screen nugget or larger because this is a quarter inch 
a screen. Quarter inch means you get one quarter of a square per inch. So four of these make an inch, and that's four of these make one inch. So that seemed a little odd to me, but let's go classify this down and see. Everything's classified down and as you can see it definitely steps down from the plus 10 all the way down to the minus 40 with the majority of it being in the minus 40. Now I did see a piece of gold in the plus 10. It didn't look like a quarter inch nugget but I will check it once we get it out of there and, <laughs> and into a little boat. We'll look at that and see how big it is. But let's check out to see if there's any magnetite. He did say in his description to me in a in his customer service that there wouldn't wouldn't be a lot of it in here but let's just look and see there's a little bit there's not too bad i've seen a lot less recently so it's not too bad nothing major i don't think it would stop you from finding the gold really a little bit really not that much but he did tell me there wouldn't be much so i'm not gonna dock him for it being this or that i uh, wish he would have put it in his description but this should be really easy stuff to pan out. It does look like sand almost. The only way to find out is to pan it out. So that's what I'm going to go do. And I'll be right back and show you the gold I find. Okay, finished panning everything out. And I have to say that really wasn't too easy. I don't remember if I said in the first part that this should probably be pretty easy to go through. It wasn't. It really wasn't. Now, there wasn't a lot of black sands, but as you'll see, the gold in this was really, really fine. I mean, it was just really fine gold. And if it would have been black sands, this stuff would have been really, really hard. So it's not easy pay dirt. I kind of got the impression when he said he was trying to make it simple to pan, it'd be simple to pan. And let me just show you the gold I recovered. So in the plus 10, there you go. One nice little picker. I don't think it's a quarter inch, and we will test it in a minute. Some gems or rocks or minerals, whatever you want to call them. I didn't see anything that really stood out as something my son's going to probably add to his collection. There's nothing really big there, but there was this one little picker. So we're going to save that, put this over here to the side. And then in the minus 10 plus 20 nothing did not find a single piece of gold so that was kind of disappointing and it really made me wonder you know i didn't weigh that up but it looks maybe quarter gramish. so i was thinking well, i hope that's not all i'm really going to find is just that one big piece of gold but and then i got to the minus 20 plus 40 and found even more gold um, not a lot. I'm not even sure that's going to budge the scale. That's a really small amount of gold, but I did find some gold. So we'll add it to the pile over here. And now for the minus 40, even more gold, a nice pile. And this stuff is all, I mean, there's a couple pieces that are right underneath the minus 40 it would be around minus 30, but there is a lot of gold here that is minus 50, minus 100, minus 200, really, really fine gold. And that is not simple to pan out. Uh, the big piece, yeah. And there wasn't really that much. Like I said, the majority of this bag is this really fine stuff. So this isn't a simple pan to pan out. Let me move my pans. And let's just weigh it up. Well, before I weigh it up here, let me put a pan over here. And I will show you. Let me make sure that's on this camera. Yeah, it's on the camera. Let me get out my quarter inch screen. So there you go, quarter inch screen right there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But that is the SP14, which is a quarter inch. So let's just see if this nugget will go through. Oh, went through. 
Maybe it just went in at an angle, right? Maybe that's it. Maybe it went in through at some weird angle. Oh. One more time. Well, it went underneath and it got stuck on there, but nope. So this really isn't a quarter inch nugget. Like I said, I didn't think they would put one in here. I am going to test it though. Let's just see, this is an eighth inch screen. This is what I use for my gold cube. This is my backup for my gold cube. And it didn't go through. It won't, I actually tried it earlier and it won't go through this. So it is one eighth inch. So I got a one eighth inch nugget. Let's weigh it up. 0 0.185. What I did with the boat. And then in the Get these dimes out of here. Let's make sure. This is the minus twenty plus forty. Zero point zero one five. Now again, when I emailed him. He said the average bag would be zero point four to zero point five, and I'm really not seeing that. This, what am I at? Like point two right now? And I don't think this is point two. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This is about a quarter gram here. 0 0.70. Let's add it all in. Yeah. 0 0.270. There you go. Uh, all right. I'm going to be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get to it again. This was from Mountain Rocks, an eBay seller. It was his one pound Whiskey Dicks Premium Pater. It was guaranteed at least a quarter screen nugget or bigger. Its cost was $40, shipping was free, so total cost 40 bucks. Gold I recovered right here, 0 0.270 grams of gold. Gold spot on the day this was received was $43.13. Yay, gold is up. Gold is up. Good. So gold value right here, $11.65, which means my ROI was 29.13%, or on my scale, a 2.9. So pretty bad. I mean, I just that's not a very good ROI. I really went into this thinking maybe it might be better than this, especially when he said he was, you would find a 0.4 to 0.5 grams. The ROI should have been in the 0.4 to 0.5. You know, I should have, I was thinking maybe 40 to 50%, but 29%, not good. So for fun factor, I'm only giving it a two. Not only was there not a lot of gold, but that picker is not over a quarter screen. It is not. It's, you saw it. It fell through my quarter screen over and over and over. Went through it. So, fun factor, only getting a two. For Pater description, I'm only giving it a two, again, because one, it doesn't have a very big description. It He tells you a lot when he mails you this stuff, but he doesn't put it in the actual description. And one of the big things that he states in his description is that you will find a quarter screen nugget or bigger. And that is definitely not it. Um, so I'm only giving him a two for a description. For Pater quantity and packaging, he's getting an eight. I gave him a 10 for the quantity because it was over a pound, but I'm only giving him a six for the bag. It is essentially just a cheap Ziploc bag. It's just a different sized one. And the little cloth bag he double bags it with is cool, but it wouldn't prevent any loss or spillage. So only getting an eight for that, 10 plus six divided by two. So he's getting an eight for pay dirt quantity and packaging. For customer service and shipping, he's getting a 10 on both. This is the only part that he was really good at. He answered me within a couple hours from my questions and he shipped it out really quickly and it arrived really quickly. So total score for Mountain Rocks, one pound whiskey dicks pay dirt is a five. A disappointing five, but that's what it is. So 
You know, maybe if you got the bonus bag, but even then, you know, it's really weird. He says you find 0.4 to 0.5, but he says bonus bags are double. Well, b- double for me would be 60% ROI, still not great. So even if you found a bonus bag, I'm not seeing it. So, all right, all that's left. Flash up the score. Give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's do that. Let me flash up the score right here. Now, before I give away my 24 karat gold plated dime, I do need to do a couple more shout outs for my Patreon members. So, thank you all for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested, it's patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. You can get tier awards every month, you can win bags of pay dirt every month, all kinds of things. Check it out. So, thanks to my newest members. We got Larry Casilla, Kevin Yu, Greg Russell, Randy Bennett, and last but not least, a you rockin so all of you thank you very much for joining my patreon page thumbs up to y'all thumbs up to everyone who watches this channel so let me give away a 24 karat gold plated dime to the one of the people that's watching this channel and that's going to go to anthony holbrook so anthony holbrook make sure you email me so i can send this off to you and to everyone else thanks for watching and happy panning